So hello everyone and welcome back to uh, welcome to my channel. Actually, this is my first video, I must confess. And I do hope you like it. Never mind all the faults that you find. So I am Maka Machuku and I welcome you to the channel. So today I would like to talk the channel basically is where I talk about things that I've experienced in life, talking to younger people so that they will not make the same mistakes. And basically things that I have learned in the course of my life. So today we're going to talk about how to make other people respect you. Yes, how to gain the respect of others. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, I want you to keep watching. So respect is a basic uh, human need. We need to feel that when we talk, others take us seriously. We need to feel as human beings that others respect us, that they want to hear what we have to say. So it's a basic human need. You might not really notice it, but subconsciously it is a need that you have. And if that need is not fulfilled, you will not be happy as a human being. This need to be taken seriously mostly true for younger people when they are just coming up they want to feel okay i can make my mark in this world so they really feel that need to be respected so although by training some people are basically trained to respect everybody they respect everybody but it is most people will not respect everybody in fact Thanks. you are the one that will make people respect you you are supposed to teach people how to respect you you're supposed to to, 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 to respect yourself, then people will now learn from that and begin to respect you. Most people will give you the respect they feel you deserve. They'll give you the respect that you demand for. And by demand, I don't mean in a forceful or violent way, but there are ways as a human being that you can demand for respect from others and you get it. So that's what we're going to explore in in this video, we're going to explore three tips or three ways that you can gradually gain the respect of others. Remember, it is not a, a, a one-time thing. It's not another night thing. It's something that happens gradually, and you have to be patient as you watch your life transformed by these three tips. So here are the three tips that will make others to respect you. So number one. As I said earlier, you have to teach people how to respect you. And what better way? By showing them. So you have to respect yourself. Yes. You have to respect yourself. And when people see you respecting yourself, they will now respect you. So what does respecting yourself entail? Respecting yourself is the number one tip for a reason. Because that is the fastest way to get other people to respect you. So under this uh, tip, there are three basic ways that you can show others that you respect yourself. One thing is that if you do not respect yourself, it shows whether consciously or subconsciously, you might not know it, but to others, it actually shows. So these are some of the ways that you can show others that you respect yourself. Number one, dressing well. Yes. Some people don't take it as anything, but dressing well actually shows others that you respect yourself. And by dressing well, I don't mean dressing expensively. Have you ever been in a room and then someone that is well dressed comes in? You feel nothing but respect for that person. If I want to begin to address the person as sir or ma just because of what he is wearing. So dressing well is one sure way of showing others that you respect yourself. Immediately assume that there are some very important people because of the way they are well put together and well dressed. So you immediately begin to respect them. So the same goes for us. If we are well dressed, well put together, people will assume that we're important. They will respect us. And another reason why you should dress well, it happens to me, if I love what I'm wearing, automatically the level of my confidence will be high. And I'll carry myself well. And because of that, Others will also look at me with respect. Another way to show respect for yourself is by taking care of yourself. 
and by taking care of yourself it can be mental physical emotional but in this video i'm going to dwell on the physical part so what are the ways that you can take care of yourself you can take care of yourself by washing your clothes ironing them making sure they are well kept simple things such as cutting your fingernails making your hair or brushing your hair it goes a long way to show others and to tell your brain subconsciously that you respect this body you respect this person so that is another way that you show respect for yourself and once you begin to show respect for yourself in this way others will begin to show respect for you taking care of yourself also makes you feel you are worth something you are worth something because you took out the time to do this particular thing for yourself, brushing your shoes, or polish, or brushing your teeth, polishing your shoes, that time you took out makes you feel that you are worth something and others too will feel that you are worth something. So these are the two tips that, the, the two, mm -hmm. these are the two ways that you can show respect for yourself, which is the foundation for others showing respect for you. So the number two way that you can make others show respect for you is by setting realistic goals and achieving them. Yes. When you set goals and achieve them, you have this thing that you can look back on, this bad log, backlog of achievements that you can look back on and others can also look back on and feel, okay, this person can do this, can do that. And that also inspires respect. The goals that you set might not be very big, but then you achieved something. The goals that we set and achieve are like building blocks that build our confidence and our respect for ourselves. So when you look back at these things, you, you, you cannot but be, be, be confident in yourself and say, ah, am I the one that achieved all these things? And once you begin to respect yourself like that, others will begin to respect you. So now that you have begun to respect yourself, I think half of the job is done. You will begin to notice a little bit of respect coming from people. That is how you know half of the job is done. So the next part or the next tip is actually to teach people how to respect you. Remember I said it at the beginning. You have to teach people how to respect you. So now you are respecting yourself. You are full of confidence. So how do you teach people how to respect you? So the first tip in how to teach people how to respect you is to set realistic boundaries and make sure you enforce them. Yes, your boundaries should be clear and they should be enforceable. So in order for you to set boundaries, you have to have personal values. Yes, personal values, things that you believe in, things that you hold dear to your heart. You have to have personal values that will enable you to set boundaries. So before you start on this tip, you have to sit down and realistically look at your personal values as a human being. Everybody has values and it is different for everybody. Your own value must not be the same as the next person. Your own value is usually different from the next person. And if you don't let others know about these values or if you don't set boundaries around these values, people will not know. That is why you have to show them. So when it comes to setting boundaries and enforcing them, being guided by your personal values, one phrase comes to mind. I mean, I'm sure it's a phrase that we have all heard before. People pleasing. Yes, you want to please everybody. You might believe something is wrong or something is right, but because you want to please this particular person, this particular family member, or this particular human being, then you put that your value, that thing that you believe in, in the back burner and go ahead to do one thing or not do one thing. So if you if you know you are serious about setting boundaries or opposing your personal values to gain respect then people pleasing should be cancelled from your life. And guys, you cannot please everybody, so stop trying. For example, maybe in your office or in your neighborhood, there's this cool guy or girl that you really want to be your friend. And one of your personal values is to avoid gossip. So this cool person comes around you, you are trying to build a relationship with that person, and he begins to gossip. Deep down within you know that gossiping is against your personal values. So you don't have to give in just because you want to be friends with this person. This is the time to stand up and uphold that personal value. So you can just 
let the person know that you are not interested in gossiping and not in a violent way by arguing or shouting. You can just use subtle moves by not contributing to the to the to the discussion or just excusing yourself to let the person know that no, I'm not interested in gossiping. You might be afraid that you will lose the, uh, lose the person's friendship, but in the long run, if that person is truly meant to be your friend, deep down within them, they will respect you for standing up for what you believe, and next time they won't bring gossip to you. They are truly meant to be your friend, and you people can still continue being friends, and you'll look at you as somebody that stands up for what they believe. So the last tip for making others respect you or gaining the respect of others is to always see tasks and assignments to the end. In other words, don't chicken out midway. Always try your very best to see tasks and assignments to the end. Conclude your tasks, no matter how big or small. It comes across to others as if you are a disciplined person. It portrays you as a disciplined person and who will not respect a person that is disciplined. So this is the final. This is the final tip on how to make others respect you. So if there's any tip that you know about that I have not mentioned in this video, please do comment below, and we will talk about it together. So I hope you consider and begin to implement these few tips that I have given you today about on how to help you to gain the respect of others. I've practiced these things for. I was not always respected as so i hope these few tips will get you well on your way to having others respect you and people don't have to like you to respect you after all to respect you are not like they are being loved or being popular so if it is respect that you are after you can people don't have to like you but in the long run you will gain the respect so thank you guys for watching and i hope that you stay tuned to see more of the videos on these channels see you next time bye